Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we are gonna go through my beauty goals for August and do a quick recap of the July beauty goals. So, if you don't follow this series, then you would not know all of the goals I had for last month, so I would suggest you to check out that video because I'm just gonna talk about six of the 15 goals that I had um, because those are the six I did not complete. Um, so yeah. So first up, we... All of these goals are to finish from last month and I did not do that with everything and the first one is the Clinique Chubbistic which is my current lip balm uh, I don't have too much left as you can see so I don't think this is a problem being done this month um, so yeah I'm Hopeful that you will see this in my August empties. This is just a mini size that I got in my advent calendar last year. So there's the first one. The second goal I did not meet was, was to finish the rest of my Mario Badescu facial spray. This is the cucumber and aloe one, the green one. Um, and this is all I have left. I have the big bottle, uh, or I had the big bottle. I just decanted it into this one because the sprayer or the nozzle on this is so much better than on the big Mario Badescu bottle. So yeah, this is all I have left. Hopefully this will be done in August, but I have been saying that for seven months now. Um, so yeah, as long as it's gone before the end of 2021, then I'm happy. The next one I did not finish is because it's currently not fitting my complexion. It's too light, so I have not been using it at all lately and that is the Beauty Act Luminous Complexion Concealer. Um, I don't have too much left in this one but it's so light it's just white on my skin tone. So that one won't be used until maybe September time. Um, depends if I do self-tanning or not uh, which I know I will do late August um, so yeah we shall see next up is also from Beauty Act and it's the Skin Hero Blur Powder I did not finish up this one I did not touch it that much in July uh, it's currently in a project pan and I just put some on right now because my skin was so dewy it was a hot mess um, but i don't think this will be a problem to finish up in the next four to six weeks so that's that one then that is all of the makeup related goals the two last goals are actually skincare and one I'm currently using and will finish up this week, that I do know, uh, and that is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. It's just a 15ml sample size and I'm about to down here, so that should not take me more than a few more uses. Um, so yeah, this one should be done this week. And then the last item I actually did not touch at all, and it's the Sensei Cellular Performance 
lotion two and I don't know what this is it's just a sample size and I need to sneeze uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's just I don't know it I don't know what it is, but I do think I'm going to be using it as a toner, maybe. So hopefully this will be in the empties video for August. So that is all of the items that I did not finish in July. If you want to see uh, all or yeah, if you want to see all of my goals for July, check out my July uh, video. And um, yeah, eight of nine of the products you will would have seen in my July empties. So if you haven't checked out that video, then please go check that one out. Now for August, I have fifteen new products I want to finish, and all of them are to finish. So, there we go. First up, we have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in 003 Moon. This guy right here. This is currently in the Throwback 30 Project Pan, and I'm down to here. Um, but this is a gloss I just pull out and use almost every single day, and have been doing that for quite some while, even before I put it in a project and this is one of my newer lip glosses um, so yeah I bought it earlier this year actually so that should tell you that I do like it uh, since this is the one I'm pulling for all of the time then I really want to finish up this L'Oreal glowy thingy uh, this is also in my throwback 30. I don't think it will be... Maybe it will be gone by the update, but I do film a few days prior to every update. So if it's not in that video, it will be in my empties video. That is for sure. And I still need to sneeze. Uh, then I have two sample sized products and both of them are the Maybelline Fit Me powders I have in the shade 104 and 110 so it does not say how big they are uh, but it can't be much so I want to see both of them done because I do really like the Fit Me powder so I don't foresee that to be a problem then I have a an eyeshadow in my build your own palette um, which if you haven't seen the color story of this one then please go check out the video that went up yesterday um, before I spoil anything um, so yeah, go check that video out before I open this one because I really do love the color story. I'm wearing a few, two of the eyeshadows, three of the eyeshadows on my eyes today. So yeah, go check that video out because I'm gonna open it now. Uh, so this is the new color story, but I really want to finish up Death Blow, this white one right here. Currently, I only use it to set the eye primer right above my eyeshadow, between the eyeshadow and brow. Um, so we will see if I can finish it up that way, or if I'm going to be using it as an under eye powder or something. But I really just want to see it go, because I've had it for a long time in this palette. And I have been using it for a very long time and it just needs to go. The next two products are again two sample 
sized products and um, these are currently in my in the partners in cream project pan and it's the two last samples of the kvd good apple foundation the top one is in the shade tan 066 and the bottom one is deep 084 so i'm going to be using these as bronzers and contours and i really just want to see them go um i have finished up the light one and the medium shade and both of those I used as foundations so yeah it took me five times to use them up as foundations so I do think it will take some a little bit longer to use them up as um, bronzers so hopefully I can finish up at least one and start on the other one but I would love to finish up both of them then we have a concealer and it's the one I'm currently panning and it's the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer with Vitamin C in the shade Porcelain. It's this guy right here. Um, that's all I have left. This is again in my Partners in Cream. It's the concealer I'm wearing today and every day actually. Um, so yeah, I actually do really love it. It's just sad that it it's not they don't fill up the tube as much as they could have. So yeah. It's a concealer you would go through in maybe six to eight weeks. Which is too bad. Then the last makeup item I want to finish up this month is another powder, actually, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder. This is what I set my under eyes with, and this is a repress already, and the pan is so big that I need to repress it soon again. And Again, this is in my throwback 30, and I would really love to have this done um, for that update, but we shall see. Uh, uh, as long as it's done in August, I will be happy. Um, but yeah, I really do love this powder, and when I have cleared out some other powders in my collection, I will definitely repurchase this one for my under eyes. Now, skincare. So, the first item is a um, face mask. Oh my god. And it's the Ola Henriksen, 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 uh, P H A T, Pat, Pat, Glow Facial. This is just a mini facial mask and. Um, yeah, I just want to use it up. I don't foresee that being very difficult. I'm just really bad at doing face masks at the moment, so I just need to push myself to do it. Then I have some other masks. It's four sets of eye patches and these are the pop beauty eye snatched hydrogel eye masks i have used one pair already they come in or in this box there there is five there are five pairs um so yeah i have four left and i really just wanna use them up uh, because i do have some Revolution um, eye patches in my throwback 30 and I have used a few of those, spoiler, um, but I just need these to go. Uh, I do like them and um, I just need to remind myself to use eye patches 
more than once a week because I do have enough for two full months so yeah then I have two moisturizers the first one are the uh, wishful honey balm jelly moisturizer this guy right here this is just a sample that contains 6.3 grams or 0.22 ounces so I don't think this would be really difficult to use up um, so yeah I think I will be using this as a morning moisturizer but I will have to see how the consistency of this one is I'm currently using the glow recipe one and when this one is done I'm gonna open up this one the other moisturizer is for, from glow recipe and it's their banana souffle moisture cream this one holds 10 ml or 0.3 fluid ounces so this one is a little bit bigger than this one um, so yeah I use this at night and I don't think it will be any problem to finish it at all I just need to remember to use this one instead of the Revol revolution one that I'm currently using um, so yeah I really just wanna get through some samples and get my skincare collection a little bit down the last two items are both serums from Puka P-U-C-A Pure and Care uh, the first one is their vitamin C serum looks like this I have used it twice I think no once once the other one is their hyaluronic acid hydration serum and again these are just some sample sizes and I used up the collagen serum that I had last month and it didn't take too long so I do think though both of these will be gone by end of August so there we have it my six goals I did not meet last month and my 15 new goals from for this month I'm pretty sure I will be finishing three out of these six goals from last month so yeah I do think I'm on a good path I usually do finish up other stuff as well that is not the 15 I have set up for myself per month so Hopefully I will have 15 or more items done by the end of the month. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you will subscribe. And join me in my beauty journey. And um, yeah, let's have some fun together. I hope you enjoyed and I will... See you in the next one. Bye.